monarch. So, so the Rizal was sufficient, for, even though he didn't give to the to most of the world, but it was sufficient that they knew that he he was there with his students, and they were, and they had the secrets. But after a while, of, uh, further in exile, that wasn't enough for the people. And then Hashem sent us the Baal Shem Tov that brought the secrets to the whole world. He was able to to dress them and constrict them in ways that, that most of the world was able to appreciate them. So, in Rav Getzel is saying that the Rizal's accomplishment was like Abraham that made the idea of prayer and faith like a mountain. So it was conceivable, but it was distant. And the Baal Shem Tov brought the idea like Isaac, that he made it like a field. It was already more accessible. People have what to do with the field. But it was still only a field, and therefore he only had 60 mighty ones. He had 60 main disciples. And the rest of the world merited to enjoy from his light, but from from behind the, a curtain, with a, like from behind a, a lens, a, a foggy lens, because they they were able to 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 feel, to sense that the main wisdom is is the fear of God, and that the knowledge of God. The realization of knowledge of God is understanding, and the main thing isn't the the the, the deliberations and the exp- and the expounding of the Torah, but to actually keep the Torah. And the and the tachlis of the Torah, the the purpose and the end of the Torah is to to repent to repent to do tshuva and do good deeds, and all the mitzvahs are just advice, remedies how to keep the Torah. To, to keep Uvo Sidbak, how to, to bind oneself to Hashem um, perfectly, as it's brought down in the Sefer, in the book Toldos, one of the one of the primary books of Hasidus, uh, on the, uh, who explains what our sages said, that this world is like, uh, like a, a wedding banquet. So that just like by a wedding, there's a great commotion and great preparation, and uh, it's, 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 everything's going on. But the main part of the the main the main, the main tachlit, the whole purpose of the wedding, is that the bride says to the that the, 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 the groom says to the bride, "You are married to me." As 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 the as is prescribed in the religion by of Moshe to Israel. That's that's the that's the main part of the wedding, even though there's all this commotion, hubbub, everything going on. So too, the told us explains that's the that's what's the tachlis, the purpose and the end of the whole Torah, the written Torah and the oral Torah is just so that we can that that we fulfill the 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 obligation, the commandment that it says in the Torah, and you are bound to Hashem, and that we should serve Hashem with all our hearts. That's the purpose of the whole Torah. Everything else that's going around in the Torah, all the amazing things, they're all amazing, but the, the, the bottom line, what it's all about, is that we connect to Hashem. And this is the reward of the, all the Torah and all the mitzvot, as as we we know from as our sages taught in the ethics of our fathers that the merit of a mitzvah is a mitzvah a mitzvah means mitzvah means to is connection the so the merit of of a mitzvah of doing the commandment is the connect is a connection to Hashem that's the purpose because the six thirty mitzvahs correlate the two hundred and forty eight limbs and the three sixty five sinews which all together add up to 613. To, so the, the, the commandments, the 613 commandments, purify and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and uh, polish up, th- they purify them that they, could, that they could receive the supernal light. 
For some people, it's even during their their life they could they can merit to this, and for some people, only after their death. But that's the purpose of the of the Torah. <coughs> so th- this message was getting across through the Baal Shem Tov, but it was it, it, it was it was specifically to sixty main uh, disciples. But for the rest of the people, they were just getting the the nuance. They were just getting the the idea from behind the curtain. And this is a new paragraph. And this is the explanation of what it says in the Gada, what we say on Pesach, if Hashem, if He would have brought us before Har Sinai and would not have given us the Torah, it would have been sufficient. And this is, it sounds wondrous, preposterous, What's the purpose of going to to Mount Sinai and not getting the Torah? What's the significance of that? But it's but this is and this is possible because the main receiving of the Torah is just to purify the limbs and sinews, as he said before, and this they accomplished by st- when they stood before the Mount Sinai. As our sages taught that w- when the, when the Jews stood by Mount Sinai, so their their pollution was was terminated. In other words, the when when by the first prime when when Adam and Eve ate from the from the forbidden fruit, so they were polluted, and that pollution remained in. In in all of mankind until the Jews stood by to receive the Torah by Har Sinai even before they received the Torah that pollution they were purified from it so that itself is is what was the was a great accomplishment because that's really the purpose of the whole Torah to purify ourselves so that we could connect to Hashem and get His light so that was sufficient but. But that was just uh, temporary. But through the Torah, we we managed to acquire ever eternal love, as it as it says. We say in our prayers that Hashem loves us eternally. The, and we continue. Hashem loves us internally, and He gave us the Torah and the commandments and the statutes and laws. He taught us, so. So we see that the, when we stood at Har Sinai, at Mount Sinai, that was a purification, which is really the purpose, but that would have only been temporary. The Torah was, was an acquisition of eternal love. The, so this, the, the, the people of prominence, the great people, were able to feel a bit, but the the lower people, the lower echelons, the simple people, weren't able to know Hashem, just through the just through the indications that they saw from the greater people. And through that, they saw that there's that 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 there's. Um, That there's that there's that there's this this advantage of going in this way, the, the way of devotion that the Baal Shem Tov introduced. They were able to see that by the great people. They were able to feel it a little, but only because they saw it by the great people. But they themselves, they didn't know exactly how to get the light and 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 how to how to how to hook up with their souls to the light. But at that, for that, for that, for that period, it was sufficient for them to know that it was for, sufficient for them to know that that this was out there, that a person could actually uh, attain this purity and connection to Hashem, and the whole world was only created, our sages say, to attach ourselves to these tzaddikim, to these people, and and to subnegate. 
and to to nullify ourselves to them. So so that was sufficient that the Baal Shem Tov revealed the secrets to even uh, more followers and made it accessible to 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 the world. Even though for most of the world it was still it, they it was still it was still too lofty for them, but they were already t- able to see hands on. They were able to to attach themselves to great people and and see see it in work, see it effectively. That that they were able to see it in play, so that was that was sufficient. But now, if Getzel continues in this letter, due to our many sins, and the the exile has lengthened very much, and is already fulfilled what our sages of blessed memory said in, in with divine inspiration on the end of times and the main hardship may the holy will merciful one save us is like Rabbeinu Rabbi Nachman blessed memory said on the verse that the snake was sly was 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 conniving that the the other side the realm of evil sucks it gets its nourishment from the dust from the realization of knowledge that that is to say that the fool desires to become smart As uh, Rabbi Nu Rabbi Nachum said on the verse, that many of those sleeping in the ground, in other words, the, those buried, they'll wake up. These for eternal life, and these, that that is to say, that in the end of times, they will be, uh, they'll be bequeathed from from the heavens, an abundance of das, of of realization of knowledge. As the Zohar, it says in brackets, as the Zohar says that the gates of heaven, the, the gates of wisdom will be open. End of brackets. So, so there is this desire for wisdom, and the wisdom is attainable. But someone whose vessels are not prepared for this, and on the contrary, they're polluted, so then they become smart for the bad, and they don't know how to do good. And almost, almost, is completely forgotten and uprooted the Torah and the truth and the f- holy faith completely from the world, heaven forbid. So, uh, so he just said that now in the end of times, when we've reached the lowest, that even even things that should have been holy, the the the, the knowledge. Is, is being misconstrued. So everything is, comp- is, 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 is it's we've reached the lowest. If not for Hashem was for us and he erected for us a savior, a redeemer of Israel and its holiness, the hidden light, who did wondrous remedies and brought one and, and great salvation to arouse the sleeping and to awaken the slumbering, to straighten the hearts of people, our brothers, the the children of Israel, to him blessed he, to tell those that are that are locked up go out and to those that are in darkness to to be to to go out to to open the eyes of the blind and to release those bound to take out from bondage those that are incarcerated in the jails, those that are sitting in the darkness, that are bound by their lusts, and they're trapped in their vanities, and their 
renegades. They're, they're cast off by their sins to return their hearts to Him, blessed He, to bring them back to the straight path which our forefathers traversed for, for time immemorial. <coughs> He's saying that now, when we got to this low level, Hashem has sent us salvation. New paragraph. As is revealed, as is explained in the Kute Moran, Volume 1, Torah 30. That ju- just like when you have someone who's more sick needs a, a bigger, a, a, a better doctor, so too, the more a person knows of himself, how, dis- the, the, how more distant he is, more alienated he is, he needs to seek out a tzaddik, a healer of souls, who is greater, much greater. Same way the more sick a person is, Rabbeinu said, he needs a better specialist, a bigger specialist. So too spiritually, a person, the more he acknowledges and realizes how sick he is, he can't suffice with some rabbi. He needs to find the greatest rabbi, the greatest tzaddik to heal him. Uman Mufla, the, the, the word for a specialist in Hebrew is Uman, which is the town, it was, which Rabbi Nachman is from Uman. So it's, he needs a, spe, a, a wondrous specialist such as this, that could heal the the sicknesses of his soul. That is, that he could dress up the supernal intellect in such a way that even someone of lower intellect and distance like himself could understand it. Like we saw that when Israel was in, coming out of Egypt and they were on a very low level, because they were, they were deep in, in 49 levels of, of impurity. So they needed the greatest rabbi and teacher, us, very awesome, that is uh, Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu, a blessed memory. New paragraph. And now, it's brought down in all the books, that we fell in body and spirit and soul, more and more, even than than the the exile of Egypt, because it says in brackets, now we fell even to the fiftieth level of the of the realm of evil. May the holy mercy of one save us, as is known. Because in Egypt they only went down forty nine. Now we went to fifty. Certainly, there's no one that could help us except for the greatest. For the great tzaddik, who's extremely high, that could be, that is really in the aspect of Moshe, that could dress and and bring down the light of the holy faith in wondrous ways, so that even the small ones could understand him. And these constrictions and dressings which Moshe Rabbeinu of blessed memory rest in peace that he, he gave us the conception of divinity of his divinity blessed he are the 613 um, commandments which, which are called the advices of the Torah because the mitzvahs, the commandments are the wisdom of the Creator, blessed He, blessed is His name, because each and every mitzvah commandment has has a, a measuring and and has limits and constrictions, which which is the wisdom, which is, which is the divine wisdom, blessed He, which is the aspect of dressing up the supernal intellect. In the lower intellect, you bring down a, a high concept, you dress it up in, in, in a way that even someone not so smart could understand it. And that's what the commandments are, the, the tremendous lofty ideas that, that God 
dressed up in doing a simple commandment which holds, hold, which holds this higher intellect to it. And through, th- through this, th- one can attain, even someone low can, in- can, can attain a con- conception of the divine. And brackets, he says, as is explained in the Holy Zohar, that the Torah comes from supernal wisdom. Because so it's understood that the Torah is a lower is is a lower wisdom from even a higher wisdom. The Torah that we have is coming from even a higher wisdom and the conception of Hashem. And the, all of this are our remedies, our advice. And this is what the Medrash, the, the our sages call the Torah. Novlos Chachma Torah, that the Torah is like a residue, is is, a, is is something that a derivative, because even the Torah that we have is a derivative of of, of a higher Torah, a higher wisdom, and the, 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 so the Torah that Moshe Rabbeinu gave gave them was all advice that he was able to dress up higher wisdom in a way that that even they were able to. Understand it. They were coming out of 49 levels, and now we're at 50. But now, that due to our great sins, that we damaged so much, and we destroyed, and, and, and we, we destroyed all, all the types of, of conduit, the pipes, and the, and the paths, and the ways of the holy wisdom... Because we really, we're really in the fiftieth level of, of of impurity, so it doesn't help us all the old remedies by themselves. The, the, as they stand in themselves, we, we're not able to comprehend them properly. But we need also new, together with the with the old, that that are hidden hidden. To 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 hook up with with our beloved, because we need remedies for the remedies, even for the remedies of Moshe that Moshe provided to Israel. We need remedies for them. And he brings the verse. I. And I will, I will, I will make with you a new covenant, which will not be, which will not be abnegated, which will not deteriorate. In other words, in order to strengthen and to fulfill the old remedies, we we need to bring new remedies into play, so that we could bring, we could still keep the old ones going. And this illumination is called the bias, it's called the house. Th- through which all the levels could, could draw close. And now... Okay, so he says, but this this illumination has two aspects, just like it was by Moshe, being no blessed uh, rest in peace. It says by Moshe that even the maidservant, by the splitting of the sea, saw, had prophecy. What even Ezekiel Yechezkel was didn't have prophecy. That even the maidservant attained the higher prophecy. And how is that possible? But only through the greatness of the of the leader, this wondrous craftsman such as this, even even still, how is it possible that in such a short time, such as this, that even a, a maidservant could attain more than a prophet? And especially, how could you understand that this needs, this needs holiness and purity? 
So even if Moshe Rabbeinu was who he was, such a great leader, but how is it possible that even the maidservants attained more than the prophet? New paragraph. So he says, but in truth, we must believe in the power of the inner spirit of the Torah and the mitzvot. Because we are called the Amskula, the 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 Amskula. Skula is like a, a propitious something that's a pro, something special. It could also mean a treasure, but it, <clears throat> but it means that just like a skula that, that when you do something for f- to heal someone, there's certain things that are propitious. We don't know how it works, but we know that when you do it this way, this this brings about a healing. Even though, na- by science, by nature, we we don't not, we don't know how this is that how this works how th- how this thing brings about the healing, but even still, we see that doing this is propitious <coughs> to to bring healing, and it's above just regular nature that a person can understand. And similarly, we, Hashem Yisbar, took us for His chosen nation, La'am Skulaso. So we are his, his nation of Skula. So a Skula is above, is above rhyme and reason. Even though human intellect can't understand this. So we can't just put our finger and say it works this way, it works that way. There are certain things that work as they work. We don't. We can't figure it out how it works. It's above us. It's inner workings involved that we don't. We don't know. Rabbeinu explains all this in the Kutirman, the idea of skula. And our whole skula, this 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 proper that we that we have, is through the Torah and the mitzvot, which are also above the nature, because they're the wisdom of the Creator, blessed He, that. The, Hashem Yisbarach calculated in his knowledge that through this mitzvah, we could, through this commandment, we could comprehend him. And, and through this, Hashem Yisbarach constricted specifically 613 commandments because that's how he calculated in his intellect that through this constriction specifically, we could comprehend him. And through this, that we fulfill, and we, re- we receive and fulfill the mitzvot of skula, that we don't, that, that they're above the reason that we have, but, but we, we fulfill them. So therefore, we're also called the nation of skula. And specifically, the true tzaddik, who all his 248 limbs and 365 sinews are all Torah and mitzvot, so he's completely skula. And that's the end of this section. Then he's going to digress to explain the greatness of the tzaddik. So I assume that that's how he's explaining that we don't understand how the how the maid servants were able to get the prophecy, prophecy in such a short time, but he says we don't understand anything. That's what he's trying to say. But the tzaddik who is on that paradigm, he's working. On the Am Skula that he that he has the Skula, so he he works he he could bring these things about, and in the time of Moshe, he brought it about, and in our times, we have Rabbi Nachman's Torah, which brings the the 
the secrets of the Torah, which is the inner nuance of the Torah, which is the faith of the Torah, which is the tachlis, the purpose of the Torah, to get to the faith, that's what all the Torah is about. So, so that, originally you had the Rizal and the Baal Shem Tov that brought it from a mountain to, to, to a field that first we knew that it's there, so that it helped us to get, get our roots. And then we, we were able to hook up with great men that were living it. And finally, Rabbi Nachman made it completely accessible to everybody, like a house, like civilization, that everyone could live this the real life of attachment to Hashem. Just like Moshe Rabbeinu brought prophecy even to a maidservant, so Rabbi Nachman brings the secrets of the Torah, the faith of the Torah, the inner nuance and meaning of the Torah. He made it available and accessible to everybody. And Bez Hashem will continue. Namach Nachman Nachman Yumen.